six that's 28 that's 2024 market daily bias four hour bullish and one hour bullish so today we're looking for a five minute pick contraction not 15. five minute confluence not 15 so i'll go back to the four hour time frame so now we're gonna go and draw out the draw on liquidity so where do you, where does the draw on liquidity right now clearly the market recently went to the fair buy gap and went through this this made a run on liquidity so the next draw on liquidity to me looks like to be right here still as i said this could be the draw on liquidity and right above it this four hour for buy gap could definitely be the draw on liquidity right this right here the start of it where do i think the market should definitely head today too right the market should put it out market did sweep it out right so probably need a small retracement before going back up which could be this four hour auto block you know what i'm saying or that could be a ret small retracement to the downside before proceeding to go back up higher but i do see it just coming down right here to create creating a fair value get the fair value should be enough to push it back up higher right so today strong liquidity to me still looks like to be over here right i start of the fair value it looks like to be the strong liquidity for me and a 30 minute time frame yeah starting time as well so yeah so the so now we're gonna look at so the only time for them they might get a fair buy gap here so if there's a fair buy gap you just mark the fair buy gap down by the way so that because that's gonna be at an hourly confluence right so four hour we have a four hour auto block this four for buy gap has not gotten created yet so we don't know about that early time frame we might get a fair buy gap created and we have a i think this should be an auto block right yeah that's that's an auto block right over here not a lower time frame in the hourly time frame but which is right on the a ton of minutes frame. So now if the, if the market is trending, right, this right here is going to be enough for the market to push higher, right? This retracement. And I'll take profit. It's basically going to be out of this high. So this high is going to be changed to this high. Because I don't take profit because this guy got swept and it's going to be the new high, right? And the drone liquidity is still here. So 30 minute time frame. We got a 30 minute time frame trending move. So when it's a trending move, I, when, it, when, it's a, when the market is in a trend, I like to go for a 30 minute confluence. If it's not in a trend, I don't really just like to go for a 30 minute confluence, right? So, and we're gonna let that still let that let that already close. So we're gonna go mark out the recent session highs and lows, which is over here and over here. What is the highest lowest low of Asian persuasion? Looks like to be over here, All right? Cause and right here is where's the highest high of Asian persuasion? Looks like to be right over here. What is the lowest low of London? looks like to be right here right but the highest high of london looks like to be right over here right so now what mistake do we made yes couple this couple of days is that we gotta find a right on drawn liquidity we gotta each of the session move happens we cannot catch a retracement and only use the 30 minute time frame when it's trendy time frame right and other than that is we got one more thing to say is when the hourly time frame is against the drawn liquidity or for a gap for our for four hour time frame i'm gonna look for a 15 minute pickup treasure or 15 minute conflict to the outside or the downside depending on the bias right and other than that that is it thank you for watching this is my all i want for the market to do is basically to come down here possibly touch this recent session zones before pushing to go up higher but yeah that's all i want and yeah let's go let's get this man